Now, I've been telling y'all, or I've told you once or twice, I want to try this thing where I condense. Y'all know I make long videos. I want to condense them into one bigger or no one smaller. Take the bigger and make it smaller. That's what I'm trying to do here. And the half haul, this thing, I think we ended up with like eight videos on it. And I figured this one is the perfect one to experiment with. In fact, half of the half haul videos are on the second channel, and half of y'all don't watch the second channel, which is fine, but that means half of y'all probably ain't seen half the stuff in this video. That's a whole lot of halves. Now this fine specimen you see next to me, it did not always live its life as a mini mover that had been cut in half. Oh no, she was once complete. But at some point in its previous life, the owner decided he needed a pickup. So he sliced it in half. And then he decided he needed a top on it. So he put the top back on. Self tappers and caulking, baby. She'll hold together. That's right. I received this truck in prestigious shape. Oh baby, got a pair of these suckers. Get it, Bill. What the freaking Willwood high temp racing brakes? Come on now. Besides having racing brakes, this one runs. And she's got a pretty nice seat in her. This one even has custom two piece doors. <laughs> he said we could drive it off. I told him he could drive it off and rip her for one last donut if he wanted. <laughs> After I bought it, it actually sat out here for a few months after we bought this place. And I come out here, I had to do a little cleaning, guys, and I quickly realized that I needed a pickup truck. So in a pinch of a moment, uh, I decided to see if one, it wanted to fire up because it had been sent for a few months. And then two, I decided we could take the top back off. If it would run and we could get the top off, then we'd put her straight to work, putting her through a series of calculated elite tests to see if she was indeed worthy of a quote unquote build. No, should have been quote unquote build. Y'all know what I was trying to do there. Don't think we got no fuel in her. Fuel pump's chugging. She may just be out of fuel. What a setup they got going back here. Oh, that bowl filled up quick. Looky there, like a freaking champ. Now, CEO, owner, operator, and head driver, developer, and engineer at the Box Truck Mafia, I'm here to tell you we have plenty of box trucks. We need a pickup. Let's get that top off this unit. So we got a few strips around here holding this top on. Should have brought some power tools for this. Uh-huh. There we go, now she's coming. Hey yo. Alright, there we go. I ain't quite figured out how I'm gonna flip it. I'd hate to tear up our good box. Now everybody knows a key feature of a good work truck, she's got to have climbing ability. Now damn it guys, we got us a little flat there doing that, I do believe. Uh, sidewall may be clean out of her. The looby dooby on that booty. We interrupt this video for a shameless merchandise plug. New releases dropping now. Firing from the hip. Get yours today. It'll work or it won't. That's its options. 
And my favorite, the good old slice and dice. Slice and dice sticker available as well. New keychains, bed mama, shut your mouth. You like smell goods? We got them in new flavors. What's forest rain, you ask? I have no idea, but we've got it in stock. We got Mama Dan Ray's No Punk. We got Travel All. We've got some Yee Hauls. We've got Dotson Trucks, International Trucks. We've got all the trucks. All available at PoonsFabShop.com. We appreciate y'all support. It's worked out pretty good, this truck being out here. What we got here is a possible latch for our tailgate. <laughs> she just purrs like a little kitten. But she's got the attitude of a damn mountain lion. Step. Hell, she's a mobile trampoline. Give this thing some love. She may need a brush guard. What do y'all think? clutch as we drive here. <laughs> Did y'all just... It, it was doing it. You dang right she was doing it. All we needed in that sequence was the Rocky theme song. Da 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 Don't let these pips fool you, I'll whip an ass. I worked her out here a couple times and uh, she definitely proved she'd make a good little work truck. Now, what does a good work truck need? A clutch that don't lose fluid? Nope. A bigger gas tank, perhaps, so you ain't gotta top her off every day? Absolutely not. Every good work truck needs a fresh makeover, guys. If a truck looks good, then it's gonna feel good and ultimately, it's gonna perform good. Oh, I didn't need all righty anyhow. No. Though she seems to drive fine with that flat tire, I think the first thing we're gonna address is our wheels and tires. <laughs> Holy cow. Now these, these are the same tires we've been using, and I don't know if it's just that wheel color that kind of makes it boom, just look that much more aggressive, but those things look tougher than an overcooked steak. You know what it is? They look like they belong on a damn bobcat. That's what it is. This truck's basically gonna be a bobcat when we get done with it. Oh, get the saw blade off. She looks like a U-Haul in an army tank had a damn baby. We're at 28 and a quarter. We're gonna try to take it up two inches. That's about an inch and a half right there. 
And I kind of like that. Now, eventually, I'd like to make this rig a four-wheel drive, but for now, all right, we just gotta get a little clearance on these old beef cakes. If we need clearance, then clearance we shall achieve. And we can do that, guys, by building some redneck cool spring spacers. Don't worry about that speed hole right there. <laughs> now we should be able to wiggle worm that right out of there. Yep, she could probably use a replacing. I know I play around a lot, but it, it's kind of hard to bounce back from a coil spring shooting through you. There's our safety chain. Oh yeah, she popped right out, see that? You also see how loose that is from being worn out? Don't worry about that. Our spring here is about four and a half inches. Four and a half inches, she's perfect. So we could cut that, put a plate on top of this, and then we'll need something inside here to keep that centered. Now we're getting redneck. Uh, guys, it ain't gotta be pretty. It's just gotta work. We got some heavy wall C channel here. Survey says, oh, snug, perfect fit, guys. I'll take it. Knock the crud off of them. We're a little rusty on the welding, but that's okay. If, if, we cut this thing where the angle and leave a little lip for that to still catch on, we may be able to make something work. What can I say? She's custom. There she is. There she is. There we go. That's a sweet sound. There it is, guys. Hell, yeah, I think she looks pretty level. I got one good eye, one bad eye. One's nearsighted, one's farsighted, and my, my concrete's crooked, but looks good to me. Now she was sitting pretty, but she had toe shitty. She didn't have no hitch. We could take care of that. And uh, we could probably slap a little shock on the back to help her ride a little smoother. The bumpers they put on these are no joke, guys. Good thick metal. They like full interlocks to this box frame. What I'm saying is we can build off of it and not have to worry. Something about 22 inches would work. Get her side to side good. There we go. I like that. We're gonna use the old Sawzall for expedited removal. Well, if everything in our life was that easy, we'd be in good shape. Boy, 
boy now we got the shit diggers in the blue long stroke uh long daddy travel suspension that feels like quality uh -huh. that feels uh stiffer than a mid 70s c10 hood hinge spring she's stiff back side was good to go the old front side here <laughs> not so much she is stiff like way stiff like i kind of had my head up my rear because i put an inch and a half spacer in there when really because of stuff like mathematics uh, newton's series of laws physics and other calculations like geometry variables come into play and a half inch spacer would have still lifted this front an inch and a half honestly i am y'all should be impressed too uh the fact i even got that in there is impressive okay is what it is i ain't perfect uh long story short i pulled it all apart guys and trimmed it down i ain't gonna make you watch that again because it's the same thing on repeat uh got it all back together and then i realized i never calculated for a hole in that spacer to be able to run our shock up through good thing we got a scrap cabinet Just kind of use our eagle eye there, and I'm going to freehand us out a square we're going to try cutting here. Now, would I want to put that on a show truck? Probably not, but for the half haul, you done seen the spacer we put in there, so this ain't no worse than that thing. Dang, for being a quick speed bracket, she don't look too bad on there. G-U-D, man, them look good. Now she was lifted and had shocks on all the way around. Uh, now, is her front gonna ride good? Probably not, not my brightest idea. Uh, but you know, ride quality, not important. So with the front end, the opposite of improved, uh, we can move on and get the front of this rig looking like a top quality off-road machine. So we slap us a bolt right there. And maybe we'll take her towards the top. We'll use the eagle eye and kind of get her straight up and down-ish. And then mark that baby out. We should be good to go. Uh, now when we get stuck, we can hook onto those. Just rip the bumper off the truck. Have you ever seen a brush guard made out of a sway bar? You're about to. We're going to weld that into there.
Well, I don't know what in the super drip can we got going on there. What overspray, huh? <laughs> now one morning I slapped some angle iron on here to protect from a little slicing protection and uh, you didn't miss much there. Speaking of missing, a couple rivets. Are still missing and the corner pieces are still missing that new latch ain't missing though i got that on uh guys i was in a hurry slick was headed over to help me buff and the sticker man was headed over to sticker scrub a dubba scrub a dubba she needs a good bath There we go, she cleaned up pretty good. Slick's here ready to work, so we ain't got time to play anymore. Hey, talk about the cheapest, fastest budget interior makeover we've ever done. This thing's pretty good. Look at her. <laughs> I'm dying, I'm dying. You can polish a turd. Well, you damn right you can. Looky there, guys. Well, I don't know what this aluminum had on her at one point, but she is not looking good. Now we messed up the peel reveal. Come on, there we go. Let Slick keep buffing on it and he'll thin her down a little more. Your stickers look good, sir. Thank you. Well, there she is. The good news is, I really think it looks pretty awesome. She still needs a little, but damn it, she looks tough and she's ready to whack a bush. Bushwhacker status complete. Now she is looking good. A lot better than what we started with anyhow. Now she did have a handful of mechanical issues though. So let's just hop right in. We'll get buck nasty from the start. Let's pull that transmission. There we go, she's out the way. Drop that carrier bearing down. There we go. Pull those four bolts. Oh! Yep, 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 yep. 
So if she'll drop off there. Come on, baby. There it go. We're just gonna act like we don't see that oil in there, okay? Don't worry about that. Next, we're gonna get our pilot bearing out of there. I'm gonna test our bolt here, make sure that's nice and tight, and it is. I wrap that in in a few wraps of tape, that way she hopefully seals. Because, as y'all know, I like to use the bread trick. Get your favorite loaf, everyone. It's time to knock out a pilot bearing. You take that old bread and you just start stuffing her in that motor. Oh, she'll take a little more, won't she? Y'all think I'm playing, but that's the fastest way guaranteed every time. Just like poop in the shape of a pretzel, I shit you not. It works. Look how tiny this little thing is. Before we slap that in, uh, the transmission out's really easy. Well, it's easier to get to the rubber hose for our slave cylinder. And we want to replace all that crap anyhow. So let's get her dead. Just a thousand little baby turns will get you there. Yeah, she's a little wet down in there. That may have been our, our small leak down in there. Oh! Let's see if we can wiggle worm her back up in there. Get her slipped up in place. Kill! Swapping out the old slave cylinder with the rubber hose. Smart. Changing the oil because the oil filter is a pain in the rear. Also smart. Let's get our old drain pan here. Damn! Oh! She been in there for a minute. That's the best oil I've sniffed from one of our old junkie rigs in a while. And I'm a professional oil sniffer. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> so, what did we learn about these today, huh? We learned the easiest way to change the oil on one of these is to pull the transmission to change your filter. We're gonna replace that baby with the Wix 51068 Premium Half Haul Filter. Don't worry about that little extra oil. It ain't an oil change if you don't get oil everywhere, okay? So don't worry about that. Now let's go get all these goodies up in there. She'll hold until she does it. That side's ready for a transmission, so let's get this side ready to go in. Get! 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 And from there, she pretty much goes straight up. There we go, that was perfect. That transmission bolted right back in just like it came out. But the drive shaft, on the other hand, had a problem. And uh, <laughs> problems require solutions. Woo, that metal U joint right in there is crunchy. Oh, how crunchy? She'll hold herself up crunchy. Oh, that sounds real good. This bearing is somewhat existent, but maybe we can do something a little better than that. She sounds like she's in tip-top shape. This is going to take a damn hour and a half. <laughs> it's all right. I ain't got nothing else better to do. Oh, yeah. Looky there. You can be mad at it if you want, but if it works, it works. That's right, most folks didn't know I was in the uh, drive shaft restoration business. They'll tape a little looby dooby and she's ready for another 100K.
got her filled up and happy. Let's go up top to the old engine. Oh yeah, good fit right there. Well, God bless America. After reading about 17 chapters, I found it. Here's our 2300 uh, oil capacity with filter change, five quarts. That's why I don't read, folks. I ain't got time for it. And I'm not very good at it. And I just don't like it. But today, it let us know what we needed to know. There was some slick of juice in the old 2.3 liter in the four speed transmission. We need to get the clutch clutching and give them brakes a flushing. On top of that, the timing belts, they like to get a little, you know, dry, rotted, cracked, whatever you want to call it occasionally. So we probably want to dive into that before it goes boom. See how dirty that crap is in there? Probably not a bad idea to replace her. Oh yeah. Of course her new one, whoop, she's just gonna slide right in. I can already see the fluid over here in the reservoir dropping. Did y'all hear that? It feels like a good pedal. Uh, that could be our 100 pound spring up there. Oh, you dang right. That's stiffer than she's ever been right there. So to set her to top dead center, we're gonna pull number one spark plug. Now I'm gonna put my finger uh, in this number one hole down here. I know you heard it. That's cause this thing's got premium compression. Right there. Four bolts get you a radiator. Now to hold it where you can slip that right off. Let's give her the spin test and see if she sounds as good as our uh, carrier bearing. So I thought I was hearing throw out bearing. I may have heard this thing singing every once in a while. decided to wait to slap the radiator in because we needed some new hoses and a belt but that's okay because we can go to the back and address the very custom fuel cell i don't know what they glued that in there with but the fact that it held up i'm impressed walk her down with a fatty and then on two l brackets on top of that return line out of brake line i don't know how you guys aren't impressed Nope. Got our hoses started here and guys, you want to mount it, how unprofessional. Professional. That's the supply. We'll take it. Looky what we got here. Clearance check, everything's good. Told y'all we were gonna go back with that good looking green stuff.
And we're sitting pretty good here. Uh, I guess next we're gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, tune up our ignition. So down here we got number one and that basically just fell off there. So I'm gonna pull all of our plugs. Hey, that thing looks pretty good. Uh, we definitely didn't have to replace that. Uh, she's a little dirty. I'd say that one right there's a little more gooder anyhow. There we go. Spark plug gap shall be 29 to 33 thousandths. That looks like premium gappage if I've ever seen it. Three, four, two. Oh, tight fit. I think she may be ready to kind of fire up. I guarantee you it ain't gonna do deadly if we don't uh, do something with that. Going live. Clutch and brakes feel pretty good. It's a shame that carburetor decided to mess up on us. Yes, you just seen that right. I was clicking on a breather on the last click. All of a sudden it started running funny, running terrible guys. In fact, uh, I worked on that thing a couple more times on that carburetor and could never ever get it to run correct again. And the way it was acting, I 143% knew something was going on with the carburetor. Now. Our sausage wagon was out here at the time and it had the carburetor that used to be on the Yeehaw and I knew it was good and it worked on the sausage wagon. So if it'll work on those two, it ought to work on this one as well. Theoretically. <laughs> well, good morning, you beautiful girls. I don't care if you just like sausage, if you like wagons, if you like sausage wagons or you like wagging your sausage. All right, there's a cool truck. No. Are you making videos? What are you doing? Here's my beautiful wife vlogging. Ow, howie. That carburetor was performing really good or working good, so hopefully we can slap her on the half haul, no problems. So you start looking around on the vacuum on this, it's really overwhelming. Uh, now I didn't find any leaks from all this crap, but it's also not doing nothing anyhow. So uh, I think we're just gonna remove a lot of this stuff. Basically we just start pulling. And pulling. And pulling. And pulling. But wait, there's more. We got cutting. We got pulling. I don't know if I mentioned pulling. We might get crazy. We might do a little snipping. A little snip. A little pull. A little tuggy. And a little pulling. Holy cow, pull. Pull. There we go. Oh. Guys, I see our gasket on that thing's good. Uh, it didn't rip or nothing, so we're just gonna try to reuse it. Come on, baby. Trying to run up the speeds there and she is cutting out on me. She is not liking that. So here's a fun fact about these carburetors that come in a lot of these little Japanese mini trucks. They're not very good. That may be saying it nicely. They are kind of absolutely junk, in my opinion. They're always troublesome. They ain't hardly got any room for error, none. And 12 out of nine times, they perform better in a scrap pile than they do on an engine. After swapping the carbs, it was running better, but it was still running bad, but like a different bad, so I guess not really better. 
I spent one morning and I went through the carburetor, even though it had been rebuilt, just to see if there's anything obvious. And guys, I couldn't get it. So you know what? It's time to swap the carburetor again. But this time, we're gonna swap to something that'll put a little pep in her step. Why, hello here, my old friend. We meet again. Now, I know I kind of sat you here and forgot about you, but I kind of really need you, so why don't you say we play a little nice with each other this morning? Oh, shit! <laughs> yeah, I decided to run that across there just to make sure it was solid. It's solid, so that passed the solid check test. Take it back now, y'all. Another ditch this time. <laughs> oh, let out on the clutch, it dies. We'll even start this time. Oh yeah, I'll run real smooth, y'all. Can't tell what's hitting. Something's, something's happening. Right, there she is. And it looks like our fuel inlet will need to be swapped to this side, if possible. She not threaded for that? Okay, well, that's good. Now shit the bed. Now that I think about it, I think Uncle Ricky gave us a spacer for this one. That little spacer right there that gets it picked up off there. I did some calling around and uh, I think I know where we can get us one. I think that right there is what we're after. Windstorm moving in out of nowhere. I must must have upset the Ford gods, the old uh, Ford lords or whatever. Put in. Don't you take apart a complete engine. Leave that carburetor on there. Thunder and lightning starts up. Cacao, cacao. That's it. That's what we're after right there. He wanted to come back or come home with us so bad it just ripped right off. That ain't gonna work, guys. We need that to seal straight across. We are gonna plumb fill this whole thing full of JB Weld because we're hoping we can then grind it down because we need that to seal up. Uh, yeah, so we probably need to get something on this side to keep it from going everywhere too. Give this a little tappy tappy. That's a top quality gasket right there. Tore into the carburetor to rebuild it. And this is a Holly two barrel unit, by the way. Uh, is it the 350 or the 500? I don't know, guys. Your guess is as good as mine. Around here, we like to operate off of mystery CFMs. She's a little dusty. Um, as we were waiting on some parts for it and our JB Weld to set up, I decided we could go ahead and start sorting out the throttle cable linkage extravaganza. So what we gotta do is attach this end over here, nope, this end over here to our lever thingy right there. Now what in the world could Sir Mordecus want? Sir Mordecus. Hey. Hey, we'll take that. Now I want to properly cover that up, so that's sealed tight, guaranteed. That pops right in. Step that out just one size up. Uh, I think that's gonna be fairly close to what we need. Just slapped one straight continuous bead on that, and we're gonna leave that 
And now you can see as uh, we cycle that and it pushes that up, it's gonna pull our cable. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, that is definitely not the same thing. We only got what we got. If it fits, it ships. We'll send it. Yeah. New gaskets. Hopefully we're good. She kind of sat up, seems like. I'm gonna just start buzzing at it, see what we can make happen. Pretty sure they have some 220 I just slapped on that and I just shaved her down until of course we were smooth across there. It'll seal or it won't. So I think we're gonna slap this on the intake, then we're gonna slap our adapter on, then we got our little thinner gasket, and then we're going carburetor. Cap that. A hook up our vacuum hose that goes to our vacuum advance. Hooked our fuel line up. Key on. I see a spray. Y'all see that? Whoa! She's idling. Here out falls on its face. I choked that sucker and restricted the air, but it didn't fall on its face. As we cycle this, it pushes this down. You see how big of a gap there was between there? Enough to put that quarter 20 nut. So as we were getting open, getting all that air, that was never actually pushing, shooting enough fuel. Uh, I just took up that gap with that nut and she revs like a maniac. Kind of smooth her up a little bit where she slides a little easier and we're going to take that and install it. Well, just right where there's a little play in there, let's see how that does. She seems pretty happy right there. Again, I'm not saying that's all correct. I'm just saying with what we got on hand, I think we about got her the best we're gonna get her. And another step of this redneck carburetor swap thing is complete. Now we just gotta make that <laughs> not so ugly. Brought her right over here and she bolted right on. Get everything tightened up. All right, I think we're ready for an actual test drive. Woo! <laughs> oh, hey, she still rides like a wagon, but as far as the carburetor, way better already. Won't that I fail that I'll never make it out yet. 
Please tell me all the bad, never good Fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong I won't stop to the top, so you better back off I get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud Never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth Can't put me down, I'll be getting loud You can never doubt, not what I'm about Have your f***ing cloud, it be raining now I keep making sound, go another round Jump legend bound, can't stop me now Change her name from Half Hall to Taylor because she just tilled a garden. power than her little 2.3 liter heart could have ever drink of. Get me worked up and excited just thinking about it guys. Now you know I want this as a little work truck so that uh the old one wheel peel, the old tire of fire, the old classic spinning ain't winning, it just ain't cutting it anymore. She needed a PCL, a pot county locker. Safety check, good. assembly's gonna move. Of course our brake line's gonna hold on to us, but I'd prefer not to disconnect our brake line. I don't know how far we need to pull these axles out. Surely that's free there. Oh yeah, that smells real good. This sucker's basically like a little nine inch. It's so small and cute, it's a little four inch. <laughs> We're in here to do a little welding. You see our spider gears here that spin? We gotta weld those suckers up. Pretty happy with the amount of weld I was able to uh, sneak into each corner there. Everything burnt in really good. Might need to get the old wire wheel up in here. Yep. Oh. Now that PCL, it's guaranteed to improve your high speed launches as well as increase your donut abilities by probably roughly 219%. Now the exhaust on the other hand, it was a little floppy. And, well, we can tidy that up a hair. There's our big old muffler coming through all this towards the back. Got that sucker burn on right there. That may yeah. be exactly what we need right there. I'm gonna just eyeball that about right there and that looks good enough from here.
Here she is. There's our new exhaust. Nothing fancy. She should flow a little better. She's looking better. She's running better. She's a work truck. Guys ready to do work. So boy howdy, let's strap on that crane and it's time to <laughs> cowgirl up. that enjoyed that uh it definitely would have been easier if i would have let off the parking brake i may have sort of kind of forgot to do that every time i was hopping in and out there uh, this does not look happy one bit Diesel in. <laughs> <laughs> there she is kicking ass and taking names guys uh now we ain't seen it on the channel in a while and i know some some people still ask questions about it occasionally and i wanted to you know let you know what's been going on with it well we've been using it as a work truck that's what's been happening uh man slicks cleaned out yeah y'all like my little behind the scenes desk studio <laughs> killing it <laughs> Uh, me and Slicks used it as a work truck around here a couple times cleaning up stuff. Uh, I've moved a trailer with it a time or two. Uh, I've tugged on a, you know, a truck here or there when I've needed to move it out here. And of course, I ain't ever always got my camera with me. But guys, I've just been leaving it out here 
and it comes in handy. Now I know some would say you don't really consider this a build, and trust me guys, I know this ain't that over there. I'm with you guys, I don't consider that a build neither, and uh, anyhow, like that's a build, that took a lot of time. This truck over here, uh, not that we ain't got time into it, but nothing over the top. You, you wanna know what's impressive about this one though? Uh, we were just tallying it up. I'm like $1,500 into this truck. I think 800 for the truck, 400 into tires. Uh, the wheels I already had, but those are just factory ones repainted orange, which you can do cheap. The stickers a couple hundred bucks and mechanically, I don't think I spent much more than 200 doll hairs on it. So we're kind of comparing apples to oranges here between the two vehicles, obviously. And uh, yeah, the cost of the apples and the oranges were obviously quite different as well. And this one you can just beat on and have a good time with. The apples will outrun the oranges though. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> well, which, which one's apple and which one's oranges? As an apple, I think it's bad. <laughs> you don't want to, no, no four cylinder mini truck out there that's factory, okay? Now if you swapped and did all this, None of, none of our mini trucks want to line up against this no, thing. I can tell you right now, they outrun the low, for sure. Oh, she's one bad apple. Now, is it really any more capable of what it was by the end of that video versus you've seen us work it pretty good at the very beginning of the video, and all I can tell you is I don't have to top off the clutch anymore, and I would say probably a little so, guys. I've been out here when it's a little muddy. Now, go try to get stuck on purpose. But there's a couple of times we've backed up to the house and it's been slick and everything. And I guarantee you we wouldn't have got there if we didn't have the uh, Pot County locker on it or the Beefcake Supremes. And clearly it makes way more power than it did. So more capable, sure, uh, probably a little bit, unless we're gonna talk about suspension because that is terrible. I don't recommend that to anybody, but yeah, maybe we did her a little bit of good anyhow. I don't have to occasionally air up a flat, more capable. So as we went to pull this thing in here to be able to record this guy as it was dying, I said, well, it's acting like it ain't got no fuel in it. And funny enough, the last couple of times I've used it out here, I thought the carburetor was messing up again and my blood was about to boil because I've already put 17 carburetors on it. And a long story short, I could hear the fuel pump just chugging air. And yeah, she was out of fuel. Now I didn't have none out of here, but I did. Not regular old gasoline. So she's running off a 40 to one mix right now. So we're making sure to lubricate you know the top into the motor it's good it'll help it she's two-stroke now <laughs> <laughs> she's two-stroke she, that's why she's running real pissed yeah. she's a two-stroke that ain't no joke and uh future plans guys i would still i think it'd be really cool to make it four-wheel drive do i think realistically that's going to happen anytime soon probably not I'm trying to be pretty realistic with myself but that's it guys uh i know some people aren't going to like that i recycled a lot of this footage but like i said i like this because i don't have eight hours to watch my own stuff but i do like watching videos like this where you see a lot get done in around that hour long period and uh, I've been wanting to try to make one of these videos for a long time, so I gave it my best effort, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. PuddingsFabShop.com, we did some new releases, three new shirts, uh, new stickers, keychains. I put all of it towards the beginning of the video. PuddingsFabShop.com for some of that good quality merchandise. We appreciate all the support there. That helps keep this dream alive, and we can't thank you guys enough. And I'm on the Instagrammer. I'm on the Patreon. I will see you guys next time. We'll be back on the wagon. So I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget, sitting on your ass won't finish your project.